ジ点火ハイドロジンパージイグナイターオン全システム発射完了オーシステムアゴフォーロンジメインエンジンスタートメインエンジンスタート SRB3 点火リフトオフソイブースタートイグニッションアンリフトオフ H3 ロケット試験機2号機は2024年2月17日午前9時22分55秒に種子島宇宙センターから打ち上げられましたロケットは現在、東南東方向の太平洋上へ移動しています。打ち上げ後1分が経過しました。ロケットは正常に飛行中。地上局のロケット追尾状況も正常です。The H3 flight is on course and the ground stations are tracking the launch vehicle and all is good. ロケットは現在、種ヶ島・内野浦の地上局から追尾されています。第一段エンジンの燃焼は正常、制御系、飛行経路も正常です。The combustion of the first stage engine, attitude control, and trajectory are all nominal. ロケットは順調に飛行を続けています。The A3 flight is on course. 97 98 79 101 82 83 84 95 96 97 98 99 200So, the satellite fairing has been separated. Now we have been able to confirm that. And so, H3 launch vehicle test flight number two has been launched. It's going quite steadily so far. And so, the screen that you're able to see right now, and uh, this is um, called the flight status indicator for public for the H3 launch vehicle, uh, which uh, is abbreviated to H3 FIP. And as you can see right now, um, the, the direction the launch vehicle is traveling on is shown uh, in this line. And so uh, we receive information from uh, the uh, launch vehicle and is reflected into uh, the screen. So, um, so the information from the, the launch vehicle uh, on a real-time basis um, uh, is reflected into the screen. And you can see the numbers changing on top left. On top left, um, where you can see 10,000, this is showing the velocity, and it's Uh, velocity uh, in terms of speed per hour, so it's quite significant, but uh, it's about eight kilometers per second. That is uh, the acceleration too, and next to that is an elevation or the height, and the time is shown in the middle. 
And so um, the uh, ignition of uh, the first stage engine is about to be completed soon. So uh, the first stage engine, the separation, the separation has been successful. The second, the initial second stage engine has been uh, completed. So, when the event occurs, you would be able to see the dots and the event had been confirmed. So, it's going steadily. So, the, so uh, there would be some time until the initial second stage engine cutoff. Uh, six, 15 minutes 30 seconds, so we still have some time until the next event. So the main mission um, is the second stage orbit injection, meaning the, the initial second stage engine cutoff when it's completed and when the data is acquired, the objective uh, for this uh, flight has been completed. So that is true. So as a launch vehicle, we would have been able to validate that. And using this opportunity, two uh, piggyback uh, micro satellites are uh, being mounted, so the separation of the satellites is also another important mission. So after that, uh, the CESAT 1E will be separated as well, so uh, we would like to monitor that closely. So, we would like to explain to you how to look at the FIP. Kotani san, please. So, from Tanegashima Space Center, uh, we are looking at the, uh, the flight. And in the black dot, uh, you would be able to see the events. And there will be various events, and you would not be able to see that because it's far out. Uh, when the event um, is closed, you would be able to visually check it. On the, uh, the upper left, uh, you would be able to see the speed at uh, 12,600, and it would get to 28,000, meaning that um, 8 kilometers per second. Altitude is uh, 560 kilometers, so it's even higher than ISS already. And it's 7 minutes 46 sec seconds after the launch. So that's how you look at the FIP. So up to this point, there has been no issue that's correct. Uh, the, so you see uh, the, uh, the flight route in the line. And the announcement says that it's normal and it is on the right path. 